All right, so before we actually get into the takeoff process, we want to spend a little time to get comfortable and set up Business Center um, for this particular training. Uh, so the first thing that we'll do is we'll take a look at some ribbons. Um, hopefully you've installed the software and you have a uh, license. Um, if you don't have a license and you're just wanting to go through the workflow, you can request a 30-day demo code from your dealer um, or even a 10-day demo code. So uh, once you do that, you use a license manager, manager to install it. Um, when you get the 30-day demo code, you'll get some instructions on how to do that. So we won't go over that in this particular case. Um, just to point out on the support tab, you have the retrieve icon here and that will open up the Trimble library, which is what we're speaking to you uh, through in this particular case. So if you ever want to get back to it real quickly and you forgot the URL, you can just click on that. And then there's some other options here for other support tools as well. Um, but on the support tab, when you open it up, you may see a lot more ribbons than I have up here. And what I've done is the first thing I would normally do is go to my set ribbons tab. And in the set ribbons tab, you will have probably, well, initially you will have the tabs visible of whatever licenses you have or whatever license level you have. What I've done here is basically uncheck the tabs that I don't want. So I don't want GIS, so I'm going to remove it. Um, we can keep survey. We may not need it for takeoff. Um, so we could remove that as well just by un unchecking it here. Um, I do want CAD, drafting, surfaces, construction data, data prep, takeoff. We'll leave utility on it because we'll have a section on utilities here at the end. Um, and then keep macros on and then search support. So you can see I've turned off all these other ones, GIS, corridors, point clouds. We're not going to need those for this training, so I'm going to simplify my ribbon by turning them off. When you look up top, this is your quick access toolbar. Mine's, you can see my icons are fairly large. So one of the things that I've done is gone to options. And under options, I checked on use large icons for quick access toolbar. Um, there's some other things you can do for sizes. You come back in here to uh, look and change other options. Um, and we'll just, the only thing I'm changing here is use large icons on the quick access toolbar. And that will give me these large icons. You also notice here I've got my tabs. So I've got my file tab, my home tab, my survey tab, CAD, um, and takeoff. We're going to spend most of our time probably on CAD, data prep, and takeoff. Okay. So there's some commands up here that we'll use. Uh, over here on the left, you'll see I have my project explorer and I have my view filter manager. When you first launch business center, they may not be visible, maybe only the Project Explorer. You'll notice on my quick access toolbar, I have some yellow icons. So this one is my view filter manager. If I toggle that, you'll see um, that that disappears from my panels over here. When I click on it, you'll see that it comes back. If I use this one here, this is my Project Explorer. If I click on that, that disappears. And if I click on it, it actually turns it on. I normally keep those on because I use them quite often. The other one that you'll have is properties. So again, if I toggle that off and you won't see it over here, when you uh, click on it and toggle it back on, you'll see that it displays. Now, initially in Business Center, this tab probably is sitting over here. Okay. What you can do to get it over here if you want, you can move it on another monitor, you can dock it over to the right. Normally what I do is I, I click up here on the header and I drag it and you can see it kind of snaps into this pan panel over here. And by doing that, now I've got my three panels. And this is how I operate. It's totally up to you. You can resize this panel here. Uh, over here, you've got your, uh, your projects, which is on your start page. Um, you can log into your Trimble ID and you can either start here with create a new project or open a project. And then you can also look to see about some news and notifications. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to start a new project and I'm going to use a certain template. Um, and instead of using the takeoff template, I'm actually going to use just a standard plain template that we're going to build the template the way we want. Um, this is a little bit different approach than what you're seeing in some other cases where you start with a pre-existing template, but 
throughout this training, I want to be able to show you how you'll develop your own template with your own materials. And in this case, we're going to build it based off of this plan set that we have um, that we're going to use. Right now, I want to point out is this will take some additional steps in the process of you know doing the takeoff. But once we set that data up, it will be there to be used on your next project. So your very first project will be maybe a little bit longer um, to get going and get it started. But then future projects will become much faster to turn around and uh, get a takeoff from. So uh, just want to point that out. Um, you know, keep that in mind. Keep an open mind as we go through this. Um, there's multiple ways of doing um, some of these tasks. Uh, and we'll just cover those um, so that you have a couple different options because a lot of it's going to depend on the data that you have, the project that you're doing, um, and what information you're looking to achieve. All right. So that's kind of the getting started piece. Um, the next step is we'll start with a new, uh, we'll create a new drawing or a new project and import some data.